Article 17b provides for preliminary orders and the conditions for the grant of preliminary orders, that is, applications for interim relief without notice to the other party. It provides, unless otherwise agreed by the parties, a party may, without notice to any other party, make a request for an interim measure together with an application for a preliminary order, directing a party not to frustrate the purpose of the interim measure requested. The tribunal may grant a preliminary order if it considers that prior disclosure of the request for the interim measure to the party against whom it is directed risks frustrating the purpose of the measure. The test in Article 17a also applies to a preliminary order, provided the harm to be assessed under Article 17a 1a is the harm likely to result from the provisional order being granted or not. The next header we'll be looking at is um, non-disclosure. You will see in the same articles I've mentioned, that is 12 of the modern law and 11 and 12 of the rules, that the common thread is that the arbitrator has a duty to disclose anything that will give rise to justifiable doubt as to his independence and impartiality. So if he does not disclose that non disclosure gives rise to a ground or forms the basis or a ground for challenge of his appointment so not only is the is either party able to challenge the arbitrator when they suspect that you know there is something in the relationship between the arbitrator and the other party or their counsel but the arbitrator has to the, the, the obligation to disclose beforehand before his appointment One of the main differences between arbitration and litigation is that arbitrators are appointed by the parties as their judges. Therefore, party autonomy in selecting arbitrators is one of the most important advantages of arbitration over litigation. Arbitrator appointment is also one of the most important decisions for the parties because arbitration can only be as good as its arbitrator. Furthermore, the party's involvement in the constitution of the tribunal increases the likelihood that they will cooperate with the arbitrators during the proceedings and respect the ultimate award.